Hey guys, this is Jessica Bordeaux here at Reverb to help you figure out what hi-hat is right for your style. So hats off to you for watching this video. All right, first up today, we have a hi-hat that's great for classic rock. And what we have is the Pisces 2002 15 inch sound edge hi-hats. This hi-hat's diameter is a little bit bigger than a typical hi-hat. And it has a B8 bronze alloy that gives it a more full bodied, brighter sound. One of the unique features about this particular hi-hat is that in the 1960s, Peisty pioneered this sound edge pattern that's on the bottom symbol that helps prevent air locking and also gives you a more well-defined chick sound. In addition, the pattern on this bottom symbol helps give it a washier attack when you play the hi-hats half open. The Minel MB10 Soundwave or Zildjian S Family Master Sounds are great alternatives that feature a similar wave design on the bottom cymbal and feature alloys with higher copper content that will give the cymbals that brighter, more cutting tone well suited for a classic rock drum sound. So moving on from our classic rock example, we're gonna look at more of a vintage rock example, something like 50s, 60s era Beatles sound. For this example, we have 14 inch vintage Aveda Zildjian hi-hats. Fine lathing and extreme lightweight give these cymbals a very bright, splashy and washy attack when played partially open. This specific pair dates from the late 50s to the early 60s and symbols like this have been heard on countless hits and played by drum icons such as Ringo Starr and Charlie Watts. If you're not looking to spend money on vintage Aveda Zildjian's, you can also get their new reissued Avedis line, and that is a fantastic alternative. Our next example is great for more aggressive styles of music, such as punk and metal. What we have here today are the new beat hi-hats from Zildjian. These were introduced in the 1960s and actually have become an industry standard since then. They were also designed in conjunction with Louis Belson and were one of the first sets of hi-hats to have an extreme difference in the weight of the cymbals. So the top hat being very light, the bottom being heavier, and that gives them great articulation and not an overpowering feel. They're very versatile cymbals that would really do great in any genre. If you're looking for alternatives for heavier music, you could also check out Sabian AA Medium, Minel Byzance Medium, and Pisces Signature Dark Crisp Hi-Hats. So next up, we have an example that's great for jazz drumming. So today we have the Istanbul Agap 14 inch traditional light hi-hats, and the fine lathing and light weight of these cymbals helps them fold very well into low volume playing situations without overpowering. The 14 inch diameter of these cymbals gives you a nice strong chick sound for jazz without sacrificing the overall sensitivity. For other well-rounded jazz cymbals, you could check out the Peisty Signature Dark Energy, Zildjian K Light, and Minel Byzance Jazz Thin Hi-Hats. Next up, we have hi-hats that are great for both funk and fusion music. Today, we have the 14-inch Minel Byzance Sand Hats. 
The unique raw top and the finished bottom give these cymbals a drier, more articulate attack and a darker wash. This makes these cymbals great for funk and fusion settings where you're gonna hear busier, more complex patterns. Other great alternatives for darker, drier hi-hats include the Zildjian K Custom Special Dry, Pisces Masters Dark, and Dream Dark Matter hi-hats. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This has been five different hi-hats for five different genres. Let us know in the comments what hi-hats you've been digging, and we'll see you next time.